Good evening, everyone. I'm Greg Gumbel. Welcome to our CBS Sports exclusive coverage of the NCAA Men's Basketball Championship Tournament. I am joined, as usual, by my partners Clark Kellogg and Seth Davis of Sports Illustrated. Hard to believe we could top the earlier round of games today, but we shall try. Yeah, we'll certainly give it our best effort. I think both number 10 seeds have a chance to advance. Dayton and Nevada, experienced teams that play good, solid defense. Michigan State and DePaul are in trouble tonight. Well, we've already had two really good 8-9 games today. We have another one tonight in Arizona, Seton Hall. I know everybody's all already looking forward to that second round game between Duke and Arizona. Not so fast. The Hall can play. As always, you guys will be accountable by the end of the evening. Coming up in just a few moments down in Raleigh, Alabama State will take on Duke. Duke is the top seed in the Atlanta bracket. Meanwhile, up in Buffalo, Vermont is about to battle UConn, the number two seed in that bracket. At 7.20 Eastern time, Princeton faces Texas out in Denver. Then Nevada meets Michigan State in Seattle. That tip is slated for about 7.35 Eastern time. The second wave ready for action in Seattle. Nevada and Michigan State set to tip it off. Let's send you out to this first round action. I and Eagle and Jim Spinarco. Thanks very much from Key Arena, St. Louis Bracket, first round play between the 10th seed, Nevada, and the number seven seed, Michigan State. Welcome everybody to Seattle, Washington. First of two games from the St. Louis Bracket here tonight at Key Arena. Gonzaga and Valparaiso coming up. Take a look at the Pontiac starting lineups. First for the Wolfpack, Fazekas, Pinckney, Snyder, the WAC player of the year, Bill Thomas, and Okasik. And for Michigan State, Davis, Anderson, Torbert, Hill, and the freshman Brown. I at Eagle, Jim Spinarco, Greg Kelsey with you. Michigan State Spartans, 18 and 11. Tom Izzo, best winning percentage in the tournament among active coaches. You see the overall numbers. And Trent Johnson making his first trip to the NCAAs as a head coach, his fifth year overall at Nevada. He was an assistant under Mike Montgomery at Stanford. The officials, Curtis Shaw, Reginald Coper, and Kerry Snittai. And we're set for action. Nevada with Kurt Snyder. He's been Mr. Everything for this Wolfpack team. Led the conference in scoring an aggressive offensive style. Pinckney will jump it up with Davis. And Michigan State controls the tip. Anderson feeds him. Outside, Colbert. He's improved that jump shot. In this his junior year, Torbert out of Flint, Michigan, opens up the score. Well, he's improved it all the way up to that 50% shooting, but really 48 or so at the three-point strike, which is a market improvement from last year. A guy who used to shoot it really noticeably on the way down. Still does a little bit, but getting better and better with it. Nevada with Hill Thomas. Alina, air ball. No, I don't know if he can touch that ball, can he? He cannot. Take a look at the tail of the 10 NCAA tournament. When you take a look at it, you look at Michigan State in that conference, a great conference that they're played at, so you get the lead there. But you look at the recent tournament history, another Michigan State lead, but the thing I think you have to focus on are these go-to guys. Kurt Snyder, you mentioned, and Paul Davis at the Michigan State side, a guy that they are now going to as an option in the blocks. He has the ball right now and can pass out of it if need be. Two-man game. Davis sheds the defender, Fazekas, for the Dukes. Beautiful basketball right there by Davis. Really coming into his own, catching the basketball at first, recognizing that he has a defender right on him. Kick it out. It comes back when they release. Pickney. Snyder took a chance inside, and Pickney draws the foul. I know it's early on, but the patience. He kicks it back out, then he slides just a little bit to the baseline. A great delivery from out top by Torbert. And all of a sudden, you have the outside working, you have the inside working, and you have a 5 0 lead if you're Michigan State. Shannon Brown called on the personal for the Spartans. Nevada making its first appearance in the NCAA tournament. Since 1985, a loss to North Carolina State in the first round. Pickney, a 71% shooter, and he gets the Wolfpack on the board. 
Jr. from Colton, California. And a solid rebounder for this Nevada team. Pretty good range on that jump shot. And gets the roll on the second attempt. 5-2 Michigan State. No true point guard on this Spartans team. That's always a criticism from a national perspective, but that works. Anderson to Davis on an LU feed. Well, that's the thing about it is a not a true point guard, but pretty good perimeter players. They interchange in terms of the point guard responsibilities, but they do have nice perimeter players. So most most coaches will say, hey, big deal. They don't have a point guard. We still have to defend them though. Hill Thomas puts it on the floor and lost it. And a tie-up. Nevada will hold on to it. Oh, going over the top. Hey, Davis right on the money. Anderson with the pass. Davis a nice roll. Good timing on the sets. Michigan State very comfortable here in the early going. And Fazekas takes a seat. Trent Johnson sends fifth-year senior Sean Paul into the game to deal with Davis. But Paul pops it up on the offensive end. Brown scoops it up. Okerson is back. Hill strokes it. Three ball won't go. And rebound foot four. Out of bounds off of Michigan State. Well, for Nevada, it's their third NCAA tournament appearance. Won the WAC tournament to get the automatic bid. And we told you it's been nine years since their last appearance in the NCAA. Big win this year against Kansas where they're up 40 to 20 at the half, up 25 in the second half. So a convincing win for them on their resume. Snyder's pass deflected. Michigan State takes over. Anderson a three. And rebound handled by Hill Thomas. Okerson pushing tempo. Early offense for Paul. They want to challenge Davis down low again with the fouls. And Hill Thomas is fouled by Shannon Brown. That's going to be number two on the freshman from Maywood, Illinois. Michigan State, 18 and 11, played a very difficult schedule out of conference, but did play their best basketball down the stretch, having won nine of their last 11 regular season games. You know about the resume for championships including the 25th anniversary of the 1979 final. They have played Michigan State, the tough teams this year, but unfortunately for Tom Izzo's group, he's not in love with the call we just saw just then. Not having a whole lot of success against those ranked teams. They're 0-9 for the season, but they've been tournament tested, if you will, with the people that they've been playing. First foul on Kelvin Torber. Losses this season to the likes of Kansas, Duke, Kentucky, Oklahoma, Syracuse. And in terms of quality wins, not many of them. Right. DePaul is in the NCAA tournament. Brown takes a seat for Michigan State with those two personals. And Maurice Ager, the talented high-flying sophomore, is in. As Pickney makes good at the line. He has accounted for all four Wolfpack points. 7-4, Spartans. Ager defended by Okerson. Settle it down with Anderson now running the show. Torbert inside. Davis a pump and a foul call. They are having a difficult time locating Paul Davis on the offensive end. His skill level at the offensive end has really improved from year this year, last year to this because his footwork is very good and their timing is exceptional. We're getting him the basketball not too early, not too late, but generally right on time so he can make a delivery. And really the tail part of last season, including the NCAA tournament, is when you began to see those real signs of a star. And this has been an absolute breakout year for Paul Davis, only a sophomore. McDonald's All-American over the last seven games has put up big numbers. First team all Big Ten. And the edge of the Michigan State lead as Jason Andreas checks in. Big numbers all season long. Also, one of the things that he's getting much better at, the fact that they'll run most of the offense to the blocks. He's getting better and better at passing the ball and looking for cuts and looking for options. 9-4, Michigan State. They defend pretty well on the perimeter. Michigan State, one thing that they impressed, we had the game against Florida last year. They were tenacious playing defense on the perimeter. Okerson, an air ball. And last touch by Anderson for Michigan State. So Nevada will get it back. And the Wolfpack still looking for their first field goal. Five-point Michigan State lead. 7-10 matchup in the St. Louis bracket. Snyder, long 
long distance three. Rims out. And loose ball controlled by Torbert. He shoots the three at about 35% on the season, so that's range, and he can really light it up. Plenty of talent in that body. Anderson will once again set it up for Michigan State, defended by Snyder. Shot clock at 16. Hager makes his move. Okerson with the defense. Back into the hands of Anderson. Nine to shoot. A double high screen right here. Nothing developed, though. Ager, shot clock is down to two, down to one, gets it off. And rebounded by Hill Thomas. And well defended by the Wolfpack. They settled into a defensive set. When the Michigan State team kind of pulled it back out to reload, they were right there and answered the entire set of 35 seconds or so on the defensive end. Here's Snyder looking to break down the defense. Pull up. High arcing shot. Still in play off the top of the backboard is in. Whoa. <laughs> no call on the outside. Great find. Hill Thomas to Pinckney. Oh, one of those look away passes. Usually you can get things to happen when there's a, a freak bounce, and that was one off the top of the glass. Hill off the drive. Kick out. Torbert will reset. 9-6 Michigan State. They'll run a set with Hager in the half court. And a bump out front. Hill Thomas called on the personal. That'll be his first. And the first team foul against Nevada. Early on here in Seattle. First ever meeting between Nevada and Michigan State. We welcome you back here to Seattle. And you know, the one thing about Michigan State in past years, you knew they could rebound with anyone. This year, that's been a little bit of a different story. Nevada's got a chance to get some second chance opportunities. Well, they do. And early on, they're doing a pretty good job. One of the things about Michigan State is they're aggressive and physical. But you're right, the rebounding has been a problem. As I believe Davis is going to go over the top right there, trying to get an offensive board. The problem with this team, though, is they haven't been, oh, it's not been a real trademark type of year in terms of rebounding. Izzo has been successful at Michigan State seven of the last eight years. They've really done a great job of that. In fact, they led the Big Ten six straight years of rebounding margin, so a little different this year for Tom Izzo's squad. Paul Davis, first foul. Pickney has been all of the offense so far for Nevada. And they mishandled it along the baseline with Tim Bobrakis. Tournament summary, Manhattan, the big win, knocking off Florida. 12 seed has won first round games in 15 of the last 16 years. How about Jerry McNamara? Is that 43? That was not a mystery. Wow, 43, a career high in first round tournament action. A win over BYU. I don't care who you score 43 points against. That's a good afternoon of basketball. Marcellus Kemp is coming to the game for Nevada. Into the hands of Okasin, a three-point game. Just over five minutes elapsed in this first half. Matchup defense right now into his zone. Protect the middle of the floor. You see guys in white jerseys will cheat into the middle. Fazekas, way outside for the seven. One of seven, Nevada is from the field. Here's Ager, corner three. And long rebound comes out to Kemp. Did not see... Well, Brack is from the other side, but he held on to it. Snyder right now, 0 for 2 from the field. He comes in averaging just under 19 points per game. They have put Ager right on Snyder on the perimeter. Fazekas using the glass. He's got nice touch. Well, I'll tell you, they talked about his touch yesterday during the shoot-around practice that they had, and that was a real soft touch for a big guy on the move, no less. Well, Brackett speeds. Andreas on a jump hook. Count it. The fifth year senior. The last connection among the players to the championship team. Nice soft touch at his end of the floor, also. 11 8 Michigan State. Kemp swings it. Snyder fakes out Ager. Got a screen. Shovel pass. Pinkney finishes. Double pass or almost a two-handed handoff just then. Here, you take it. I have no room around the baseline. You take it and do something with it. Eight points for the junior, Kevin Pickney. He comes in averaging just under nine per day. Michigan State leads by one into the post. Davis didn't expect the body there and coughs it up. Bazooka's good hands across on the court. Cross-court pass. Davis a little trouble that trip. Chance to take the lead. Camp on a spin. And big side rebound to Ager. 
11-10. Yeah, Davis open again down low. They're trying to get him the basketball. Picked with the foul. That end of the floor. But here you'll notice Snyder come across. And watch the handoff right there. Just give him the basketball. Let him take it. And a good left-handed delivery away from the traffic. First foul called on Kevin Pickney. And some changes now for Michigan State. Torbert, Anderson, and Matt Schrannon, a wide receiver from the Michigan State football team. Have all checked in. Sean Paul back in there for Nevada. Anderson calls out a play. A lot of movement on the offensive end. Trenton looking for the cutter. They're moving away from the ball. They look for some screens. Here's a little two-man game up front. Torber swings it. Bobrakis trying to get it down low. Trenton denied by Paul. Trenton sticks with it. Foul call. Well, you always need that big guy to come across and step in and make something happen. Here comes the step in right here. All ball. Great play. And then you see the reach in from behind. Sean Paul. Excellent job defensively. And it's Okerson who gets called for the foul. Trennan at the line. Whether you're looking for live scores, updated brackets for each game, game centers, you name it, NCAAsports.com. If you miss games, archive footage, highlights, live video, you name it, NCAAsports.com. There's Trent. And it gives Michigan State a two-point lead. And so far, pretty good tempo, both ends of the floor. Expected this game to be aggressively played and living up to it right now in terms of the way everything's a challenge. And Michigan State usually ded dedicates itself to that type of defense from out front. Phil Thomas on a bench shot. And a steal. Oh, baby. He went to the big finish. Oh, man, oh, man. Was that, a, that was an attack. Woo. Matt Stratton picks up the foul, and Kurt Snyder is headed to the free throw line. Wow, I'm still set back here with that one. That was a heck of a challenge at the offensive end. The elevation of Snyder, an explosive, versatile wing player. See what he did this year in the whack. And gets the roll in the first attempt. All right, if you had these hops, you'd still be playing. But here we go upstairs. Wow, that's a terrific challenge. Don't get in his way when he goes towards the basket. He puts his head down with vision and really attacks. And he nearly put Matt Trennan on a poster. <laughs> Snyder missed on the second attempt. A 72% free throw shooter. Nevada up by one under 12 minutes to play first half. Here's Torbert. Good entry underneath. Knocked away by Paul. And Drew Namick. With one in the handle and initially. We'll get a timeout. 13 12. Wolfpack. Let's flash back. 1979, Judd Heathcote Spartans taking on Larry Bird and the Indiana State Sycamores. 1979 NCAA Championship. Magic Johnson, a game high 24. And our own Greg Kelser matched Larry Bird's 19 Spartans. Claim the national championship. Judd Heathcote in attendance. Long run at Michigan State. And still a big supporter of the Spartans program. And Gonzaga. We'll get into that at another time with Drew Namick getting the bank shot following the timeout. If the seeds hold up, we could see Michigan State Gonzaga in the second round, putting Kojiko in a tough position. Yes, a tough position. I guess as Michigan State would probably win out. I think so. Snyder rims out on a three, and it's rebounded by Hill. Up the floor in a hurry, Ager. Even though Snyder's 0 for 3 right now, that shot right there, I think in his mind he felt good about it. The ball nearly went down, had good rotation on it, 
He's not going to stop shooting. He's the guy they rely on to score big time. Jermaine Washington has come into the game. Yeah, I think we had a movie screen before that shot took off. Let's check in with Greg Kelson. Thanks a lot, guys. You know, Tom Izzo has his own Final Four success to boast, winning the championship in 2000. And even though they've had their struggles with the ranked teams this year, you guys talked about that, he is not shy about saying that that is this year's team's goal, to get back to the Final Four. I think Greg has some inside information on the Spartans. What's your sense there? I love the fact that he has inside information on the Spartans. Good job, Greg. It helps the broadcast. <laughs> Okerson swings it to Snyder. Although Tom Izzo is pretty upright. He's just giving you information when you ask him a question also. Okerson missed it from three-point range. Davis clears it for him. Spartans lead by one. Torbert. Catch and shoot. A three. Man, he has improved from last year. He really, to understand flashback to last year, you really have to take a look at that shot. At the top of his, he's supposed to really shoot it at the top. He hesitates on the cup shoots just a little bit on the way down, but there was probably another beat or two by the time he shot it last year. So great work in the offseason. Hill Thomas makes a move. Suffocating defense around Snyder, but frees himself, misses the left handed layup, and knocked to the sideline. Oh, call timeout. Jermaine Washington over the scorer's table. And he got the timeout. Michigan State disagreeing. You gotta love the hustle of Washington for Nevada. Jeff Davis in New York. We'll get you back to Nevada, Michigan State. First, let's check in. The tempo that they play and the intensity and keeping it up for the 40 minutes, that's the key, especially in tournament play, especially when you're playing against a team that's starting to settle in offensively. Good job out front just then by Hill with the hand. Takes it away from Okerson. Anchor, count it, and one. Okerson already had an opportunity there to pick up the charge down the other end of the floor. But the speed game by Ager really just blew by him before he had a chance to get good positioning. There's the seal, the flick. And watch defensively. He thinks he's in a good position, then slides right by him for the layup. Comes across, hits him. Good call from the officials. You have to give the offensive player the right of way and the benefit of the doubt going to the hoop just then when he's aggressively going after it also. Second foul for Okerson. He is replaced by Gary Hill Thomas. Michigan State 20, Nevada 13, 9.50 to play, first half. Nevada 29% from the field. Snyder the star for the Wolfpack, 0 for 4 from the field. Here's Kemp. Davis, a hindrance on the defensive end. Davis much stronger than he used to be, obviously holding his ground. Torbert lays it in. Talk about a guy who can get off the floor. And also, a lot of guys, when they jump by and they lose strength in the air, when he's up there, he holds his strength very, very nicely in the air to finish that layoff, layup up. And a 10 nothing run for the Spartans. 22 to 13. Nevada had a one point lead. Snyder, as you mentioned, just been 0 for 4, but he's going to get a little bit more aggressive looking to make something happen. Traveling call on the perimeter. Well, whether you're looking for scores, brackets, game centers with in-depth play-by-play, you can find it all at cbssportsline.com. Your place for NCAA tournament coverage. Technical may have been called on Trent yep. Johnson. Exactly what happened. Last trip down the floor, just a little uneasy with the lack of calls he's getting. And the head coach of Nevada will pick up the tee. Torbert goes to the free throw line for Michigan State. And a chance to bring this to double figures. See, I don't think that's a bad move there by Trent Johnson because I think he understands right now that his team is in a little bit of trouble because of the physical play of Michigan State. He's got to get his guys charged up to really try to attack that and match the physical play of Michigan State. You give up the two points right there, but it's got to hopefully be a little bit of a wake-up call to say, hey, listen, guys, I'm sitting over here. 
I'm trying to work. You guys got to pick up your tempo a little bit and get some attention going. Largest lead, 24 to 13. Hill, open look, count it, a three. And a five-point play. The two free throws from Torbert after the technical, and a triple from Hill. And that's obviously where technical fouls can come back to haunt you. Snyder, he's searching. Yeah, he is. Will he continue to press a little bit? Torbert, pull-up jump. No good. Wow. Hager comes firing in. And a travel call. Paul caught it and fell down for Nevada. I don't think the fans thought that Paul was going to get this basketball when it was up in the air. See a lot of white shirts in here. He gets the basketball. Yeah, that could have been a foul from behind. Now I see what they're yelling about. Davis cuts to the rim. And foul called against Paul. Reaction from this crowd. The underdog dog Nevada. And I think they picked up on the technical with Trent Johnson there. They said, well, the coach doesn't think it's going well. Now, here's another call that the fans don't think, so the fans are getting a little antsy also with the whistle. Dave is on the free throw. Wednesday on CBS, Survivor is on a special night. What's gotten into the All-Stars that's making them so wacky? Don't miss Survivor All-Stars. A special night Wednesday at 8, 7 Central on CBS, America's most watched network. Two out of two for Davis. And he's got eight points, two rebounds. Michigan State opening up a 16-point lead. Kemp, good for three. Marcellus Kemp shoots it at 33% from long range. And do they ever need somebody to hit a shot for them? Davis, Kemp stop him along the baseline. Now, the beauty of that move, too, is that he's actually getting into his move prior to the catch. It's a great set. Set yourself up, and as the ball's coming in your direction, make your move at the same time. Ten points for Davis. Pinkney, he has been a savior on the offensive end so far for Nevada. Eleven points for Kevin Pinkney. Team that would be shooting six to 13, other than the over five for Snyder, so he's the only one really not hitting his stride as of yet. And that's an important thing. When somebody is not, your star is not shooting the ball well, you have to have other pieces step up. Fill some time, fill the gaps up. Here's Torbert, 12 to shoot. Good entry. Davis met by Paul. And Nevada controls it with Snyder. Wow, watch out. Tough pass. Threading the needle and a foul called as Hill got the bump on Pinckney. First foul on Chris Hill. Yeah, you'll notice the delivery and watch where Hill is. Hill is actually back there getting down the floor pretty quickly but just never got to good position defensively. Michigan State with the lead over Nevada. 31 to 19. Kevin Pickney at the line. 7 12 to play. First half. And Pickney good on the first. He's got 12 points, 5 of 5 from the free throw line, and he is cut into this Michigan State lead. And Workback still struggling, shoot 33% from the floor versus a little bit just under 53% for Michigan State. So to look at the score, you say, well, we just got to hang in there for another seven minutes. Make sure this doesn't get out of control. If you're the Wolf Pack, and just hang around and defend. Michigan State has been able to control the interior so far. They've got a 10-point cushion in the first half here in Seattle. We're coming back. Finally cashed in on a couple of three-pointers. They opened up 0 for 6 from long range. Both teams making their free throws. And Pickney has been the high man so far for the Wolfpack with 13. And to tie that all in, the Big Ten Conference play this year, Michigan State led in field goal shooting percentage, three-point shooting percentage, and also foul shooting percentage. Davis has fouled inside. Seven minutes to play, first half. Michigan State, 31, Nevada, 21. As the Wolfpack continue to have a tough time dealing with Paul Davis underneath the rim, he has been able to spin his way, either getting to the free throw line or getting buckets.
Jermaine Washington called on that foul, his first. And Davis now with 12 points. He is 6 of 6 from the line. Long ball. Kemp, no good. Not sure that's what they need right now. The team needs to start going. The Wolfpack needs to start going towards the basket with some of their drives. Kirk Snyder has been held to just one point. The WAC player of the year. David Letterman. Great one for you tonight. Late night entertainment at its best here on CBS. And another foul. It looked like Washington on the inbounds pass. Second foul on him. And they're piling up. That's nine against Nevada. Well, a team, Michigan State, Ion, that will keep the pressure on you. And the reason the fouls start to mount up, I mean, that one's out there on the way from the basket. But the fact that they keep touching the ball into Davis, getting it congested, they're attacking the glass. They're going to end up picking up a lot of fouls. Anderson able to hit the first. Sean Paul checks back in. He replaces Jermaine Washington. Anderson, two out of two. Shoots it at 80% from the free throw line. Workman-like player can play four different positions for this Martins team. Point guard, two guard, small forward, and power forward. No, that's why I think they're a tough team to play all the time is because they give you so many different looks with their bodies. They can exchange different guys, play them, like you said, different positions. And how do you really scout them totally? Paul in the corner and loses the ball. Up for grabs for Michigan State. Seventh turnover for Nevada, trailing by 14. Here's Hill. Check out. Anderson one on one against Kemp. Under six minutes to play, first half. Hill has to go out near midcourt to get the ball. 14 to shoot. There it goes again. The touch to Davis and the lock. The Gracchus kick out. Andreas swings it. Hill. Good effort by Hill Thomas to get back in the fray. Andrea, shot clock winding down. And rebound to Hill Thomas in the corner. Now the problem for Nevada on the offensive end, 32% from the field, and their go-to guy, Kirk Snyder, has been a non-factor. A three. Count it. May have been listening, but it's really a big one, especially at the five-minute change mark. Tom is all over his defenders and letting him get that shot off clearly. A little pass around the perimeter, and all of a sudden you see it up. But Hill, the defender, not quick enough on the perimeter in Tom Izzo's mind to get out there and defend. And it's the last thing that Tom Izzo wants to see is Snyder start to warm it up a bit. In that win over Kansas for Nevada, one that opened some eyes nationally, Snyder scored 29 back in December of 2003. And that's one of the things on his resume is the fact that against the better competition, good pass down low. Oh, what a setup. Hill to Andreas. Good two-man action once again, but Snyder does play big in big games, so we'll keep waiting to see if he's going to answer the call. 37-24, Michigan State. Hill Thomas looking. Snyder pump fake on a three. Now he'll penetrate. Try to loosen up the defense with that jumper and takes it in to draw the fight. We see a little two-man action. Here's the cut to the basket. Beautifully delivered. I mean, it's one thing to look for a guy cutting to the basket, but timing is so important to make the life of the big guy that much easier as he goes towards the basket. It's a simple concept, but it's really one of those things that the point guards or the guards in this particular example of Michigan State have to deliver. Andrea's called on the foul. Coming up, singular at the half. Greg Gumbel, Clark Kellogg, Seth Davis. We'll get you updated on all the tournament news. Plus a live look at all the action going on in the NCAA tournament and the singular one-on-one -on -one Billy Packer Trivia Challenge. All coming up, singular at the half. 37-26, Michigan State. Well, Snyder has at least seen the ball go through the hoop. It's a funny concept, but when you're struggling from the field, when you get to the free throw line, you see the shot go in, you make a couple of you feel better about yourself. Spread the floor, Davis. Cross court, Ager. Hill, pump fake on Hill Thomas leading. And 
the runner for Chris Hill. That's nifty. Yeah, nice little switch there defensively by the Wolf. Back in the Spartans answer with a solid set offensively. Everybody touching the basketball and Hill. Breaking down the zone and splitting guys with a little runner. Combo guard Chris Hill getting the deuce. Snyder. Long three. You can see the body, huh? You just see confidence. It's an amazing thing, but all of a sudden now, especially he's got enough time, started at the five-minute mark with five minutes left in the first half to get some rhythm to get his confidence for the second half. Nine points for Kirk Snyder, and Pickney on the takeaway. That thing was coming right at him. He didn't see it until the last second, nearly muffed it. Ten-point game, Michigan State in front. There he goes, Snyder on a spin. Another Nevada turnover. Spartans up 39-29. Looking for him. Can this big movie executive cut it as a security guard? Watch your step, everyone. Barney Fife is here. Have a good one. Yes, dear. New episode, CBS Monday. Uh, Jim, you talked about field goal shooting and free throw shooting for Michigan State. On the free throw side, it's really not a shocker that they shoot it so well. Tom Izzo, the other day in practice, made 108 straight free throws. That He's been shooting them consistently ever since a high school game where he missed a couple down the stretch, and it's stuck in his head. Well, he has one of the managers, while the team is stretching, come down and help him with the free throws and at least retrieve the basketball, but... We've got to let go of that high school stuff after a while. <laughs> what are you saying? It's an obsession? Let it go. <laughs> Anderson inside. Andreas by himself for the layup. Well, they're really buying into the fact that they want to go down low against this Wolfpack team, and they're really challenging, challenging them defensively to step up and bank some bodies down low. 41-29. How many times do the Michigan State players get their hand on a ball coming across? Well, the deflections, good look down once again. Good positioning. Wolfpack waiting for a shot that trip. Andreas down low, a little ball fake, and he finishes. But, you know, that's, that's a great point, though, in terms of deflections. There are teams that most teams do count the deflections. They want to see deflections because what that does is it takes a little time off the clock, and at the same time, it takes the offense out of their rhythm. So it does help with the deflections. It's a little thing, but it turns out to be a big thing a lot of times in the half-court sets. The Torbert and Snyder matchup again. Snyder, shot clock at three. Makes his move. Pull up, jump. Too much on it. And Pickney was held, attempting to get to the ball. Anderson was in the area for Michigan State. And it is Anderson picking up his first. Have you seen frustration from Kirk Snyder so far? You know, not yet. I mean, obviously there's frustration a little bit because it's two for eight in your mind as a player. You know that you're not on top of your game. But the one thing about him is he just gives me the feel that he's not really dwelling on the fact in a negative sense that he's two for eight. I would consider him the type who's just going to try to fight his way through it. Especially, you know, it's only one half of basketball. One in one situation. Pickney unable to make the free throw. And here's Ager now for Michigan State. Under two and a half to play. Important two minutes, too, for both of these two, two teams. I am Michigan State obviously wants to get a couple of buckets so they can extend their lead. The Wolfpack trying to keep this back in their 2-3 zone right now, trying to keep it within distance. Deflection Hill, Thomas the steal, and Okasin is fouled. He couldn't finish on the run out to the rim. And you talk about Okasin just then running out, but also running out under control and smartly because he knew Anderson was trying to size him up. Sometimes when a player gets behind you, he's trying to size you up. And you see him down the floor. Now back here is where Anderson's coming from. As a player, when you're going to the basket, you know, hey, this guy's going to try to catch me from behind, tip or block the shot, and then you reverse on him. Second foul on Anderson. Monday on CBS, don't miss a new episode of the Emmy Award-winning Best Comedy. Everybody loves Raymond. Monday on CBS, America's most watched network. Okerson, 86% shooter. Both teams are shooting it well at the line. Nevada, 10 of 12. Michigan State, 12 of 13. Attack on one more for the Wolfpack. Well, there's their first accomplishment, getting it to 10 points with two minutes or so left. Now, the Wolfpack has to worry about fighting it back to single digits. If they can get this to eight or six, that's a win. Hill left alone. 
Back of the iron on a three. A lot of activity think, off the rebound. I think it's going to go against the white shirts, though. Pretty good effort by Michigan State on the boards. Torbert that time just a split second late getting there. Long rebound from the long shot. I think that one right there, you could have picked up anybody, but Torbert picks up the second. And the 10th team foul against the Spartans. So two free throws for Gary Hill Thomas out of Oakland, California, a senior. And does not get the roll in the first attempt. 68% shooter on the season. This is where you have to steal some points. But Hill Thomas, a pretty good example in chatting with Trent Johnson of guys that accepted new roles for the good of the team. He was a 16 floor scorer two years ago. And now... Averaging just under 10 points per game, recognizing that Snyder is the go-to guy. And pretty durable throughout his career, not missing a game also. So you have a guy who, you know, is a team player. Trent, the finish. Under two minutes to go, first half. You gotta make good decisions right now, don't rush. Snyder, look at this. No! Show me something. Kirk Snyder, high floater with one hand. Now you could almost make the argument, too, not to take a great shot away from a guy, but it looked like his right arm extended on that move. No call. And the flutter. Seven-point game. Davis, backdoor cut, Trennan. And this time he makes the lane. Once again, that high-low action. Well done by Michigan State. When they need a shot to go down, they keep going to the middle of the floor, which makes sense against the zone. Snyder now has 11 points. Pickney is the high man for Nevada with 13. And it's a nine-point game. Michigan State has gotten a jolt from their reserves. Paul lost it. And now Okerson has it with 42 seconds to play until halftime. Snyder straight away. Long rebound for Brackus. So each of Snyder, I'm telling you, Snyder is three for ten right now, but there have been five shots or so that he's missed that have looked as if they're going down. I'm, I'm sure he's thinking he's got some nice rhythm shooting the basketball, even though it's not percentage-wise stacking up for him. Just a one-second difference, shot clock to game clock. Final moments, first half. And again, they call the timeout for Michigan State. 43 to 34, circus shot for Snyder. It goes for Nevada. They'll take it. In the first half that has seen Michigan State shoot it at 54%. Rebounding numbers, though, all even 13 apiece. Eight to shoot. Andreas with five to shoot. Now it's Hill. Shot clock is down to two. He's got to go with it. Hill, a jumper. No. We are a shot clock right, violation. Hold on. We're not going anywhere, though. If it's a shot clock violation, the violation it should be, what was the differential? About two seconds? About 1.8. Yeah. Now, the officials will come up with a different number, of course. They, they've got that mental clock. Oh, they look at it every time. That's an amazing thing. They look at the clock. To, Number 11, Hashi Jackson, and number 30, Tim Brockett, checking in for Michigan State. This is... Uh, well, they just had eight seconds up there for a second. Yeah, now it's eight tenths of a second. And my sense was that it was 1.8 in terms of the disparity. And the officials are taking a look at it out near the scorer's table just to determine how much time Nevada will have. Well, they'll, they'll get this thing right. There's no question about it. It's, if it goes higher than a second, it gives you a little bit more flexibility in what you can do because here you pretty much can catch and shoot it for 0.8 seconds. 1.8. Nice call, bro. How about that? You are right on it. I have a guy who never passed back. <laughs> but 1.8 is enough time. For what? Well, push the ball up there and let it go. That's what I would do. Not Nevada. Worrying about stats. Michigan State goes to the locker room with a 43 to 34 advantage over Nevada. Let's check in with Greg Kelsey. Coach, you're getting the ball inside. Well, you're shooting a nice percentage. I'd imagine you're a little bit concerned that Kirk Snyder might be waking up. Well, I'm concerned that we're not waking up. We didn't cover him. I mean, we know he's a great player, and we've been.
did a poor job of giving him wide open shots, especially in our zone, not knowing where he was at. That's the adjustment we're going to have to make. All right, Coach, good luck in the second half. Michigan State leads it by nine. CBS Sports exclusive coverage of the NCAA Basketball Championship will continue after this message and a word from your local station. Sports exclusive coverage of the Men's Basketball Championship is sponsored by the new Chevrolets. Miller. Monster. And by Allstate. Set for second half action here in Seattle, 43-34. Michigan State leading Nevada. Welcome back, everybody. I and Eagle along with Jim Spinarco. If you're in Nevada, what is the thought process going into the second half? I get the ball to Snyder. Make sure that he can find himself in the flow of the game, not force it, but get him involved. you got to get him more than 10 shots or, or three shots that went in, right. three for 10 from the field. So I think he's just going to look right past that stat and really come out to play in the second half. And if you're Michigan State, keep shooting it like you shot it in that first half finished at 52 percent moments ago greg kelser caught up with nevada head coach trent johnson coach a big part of michigan state success in that first half was their control of the paint 22 points how do you plan to control that in the second half well we got to do a better job of putting the body on guys and blocking out i mean they were definitely the aggressor they took us out of everything we tried to do offensively and again like i told the guys my concern going in was what to the game was that we are able to withstand the first five minutes. There's a lot of guys who've never been in this environment, so we got to settle down and do the fundamental things, block out, get back in transition, and take care of the ball. Okay, Trey, good luck in the second half. Now, Nevada comes in riding a seven-game winning streak. Meanwhile, for Michigan State, seventh consecutive NCAA tournament appearance. They are 14-3 and all-time in first-round games. First possession, and right back to Davis. Bank shot? No. Knocked around and controlled by Hill Thomas for Nevada. Looked very much like the first possession of this basketball game that Michigan State had. Get the ball to Davis down low, let him operate, let him be patient with the basketball. Did not convert. They were up 5 nothing at the beginning of this basketball game. Nevada posted a 5-3 and three record against teams in the tournament this season. Off the mark, Pinckney unable to hit. And here come the Spartans. Spin move. Brown was in foul trouble in the first half. Oh, athletic play. And Davis with the stick ball. Well, the good combination there of Brown's quickness to the basket. But Davis, once again, nobody finding a body on him. Just like Trent Johnson said, find some people, put some body on them, and then maybe we can rebound a little bit better. Michigan State up by 11. Snyder comes to the ball. Yeah, they're trying to get it to him a little bit more frequently here. Work the other side. Okerson looks. Fazekas had a quiet first half. Leans in and gets it to go. And one of the things they speak about when they talk about Fazekas is the fact that he's got very good footwork, very good hands around the basket, and keeps it up high as he puts his two hands out to stop Davis. And a foul call in the blocks. Here's the quick spin. Now watch the opening. He's going to go to the baseline, and what happens is he brings defenders towards him, Fazekas in particular. Next thing you know, there's a lane open for Davis to get an easy putback. And Fazekas called on his first foul. Hill catch and shoot. And weak side rebound, Fazekas. Olkerson for Snyder. And he's thinking about shot right there. Twice he was thinking about it. Now Snyder will move without the ball. Bill Thomas to Pinckney. Nine-point differential. Corner three. Rims out for Snyder. You know, he's almost got a half a dozen good-looking shots that just have not gone down for him. That was another good look right there and good spin on the basketball with the rotation. He's now 3 of 11 from the field. Davis high post. Using his strength for the deuce. Well, that's where the difference of about 40 pounds comes into play. 255 pounds versus Vasikas with the 215 frame. And one of the things he has to do is the young player get the body strength up. 16 points, 5 rebounds for Davis as Snyder shows up. A terrific move to the goal. Would not be surprised to see him do a little bit more of that. The outside shot having some problems. Get yourself going to the hoop. Get yourself an easy bucket or two and bring that confidence level up. 13 points for Snyder. Brown off the mark. And Fazekas was fouled underneath. Davis and Anderson were there. 
Watch this little curl around. So he's trying to get really positioned down low. If you get your shoulder around the defender, you have to right away, and you're going to have good things happen. And here comes just a power move towards the basket by Snyder. Expect to see a little bit more of that. Second foul called on Davis. Seems like whenever Snyder scores, too, they switch Torbert back on him. Although now they're switching everything. Any exchanges down low, they're switching. Snyder tried to use the window to no avail. Yeah, Hill got in his way that trip along the baseline. Anderson, two-man game with Hill. Snyder deflects it and comes up with a steal. Wolfpack, run. Wow. Anderson quick to get that one from behind. But a double dribble called on Anderson, and he took it away from Snyder. And Snyder at half court decides to go behind the back, and he forgets one thing, that Michigan State is funneling down the middle of the floor defensively. And a good check there by Anderson, but then turns the basketball right back over. Six Michigan State turnovers, nine for Nevada. Snyder looking down low, post-up opportunity for the guard Hill Thomas, but they'll keep it on the outside. There's Snyder, a spin, setting up Torbert. Good defense again. Hill Thomas, wow, driving in, and he went in with a purpose. You're not kidding, boy. That was a quick slash to the goal, especially when they're focusing on Snyder and his little bit of a drive attempt. They stopped him initially, and then the second guy, supporting cast members, have to step up and play off Snyder's drive attempts. Five points, six rebounds for Gary Hill Thomas. Brown lost it for a moment. Wolfpack trying to get some deflections, and they're being successful with some. Anderson fires a three. Pretty good patience once again. Michigan State working that basketball around. Not a pretty set. Little fumbles here and there, but what do they get out of it? They get the patient shot and a good fresh look again. Clear cut look. Anderson now has five and a giveaway. Coming up Monday on CBS, the key evidence from a crime scene is stolen. Now CSI Miami must find it or a killer walks. Don't miss a new episode Monday on CBS, America's most watched network. 15.24 to play, second half. Here at Key Arena in Seattle, this is first round action from the St. Louis bracket. Nevada, the champions of the WAC taking on Michigan State out of the Big Ten. Spartans once again a seven seed. Last year they were a seven seed. They advanced all the way to the Elite Eight. And a foul called Anderson defending Fizikas. Trent Johnson, homecoming for him, born in Seattle, went to high school here. And that five-year plan worked out. This is his fifth year at Nevada. He's gotten them into the tournament. Yep, the understanding of just how long it takes to build a program. You have to have everybody on the same page at the university. And the athletic directors, presidents, to make sure everybody has a business plan to let it develop and let it work. Third foul on Anderson. He tried to knock the ball away. And Pitney couldn't catch it. Out of bounds, a wasted opportunity for Nevada. 11th turnover for the Wolfpack. Anderson handling the ball for Michigan State. Fans wanted to travel. Eager. They swing it to Brown. Baseline. Oh! A wild shot! Shot in Brown! Well, that explosiveness along the baseline and then understanding where defenders are going to come from to try to block your shot. 53-42. A lot of traffic. Interior passes are getting deflected. Fazekas called for steps. Wave off the bucket. There's Davis, though, trigger, triggering the baseline pass again. And you notice on the right side of the floor, on this side, there are guys getting ready to block. He sees them right there. He sees two guys, actually, and then reverse. You use the net, you use part of the rim as part of the obstruction going to the basket. First field goal, but it was a dazzling one for the freshman, Shannon Brown. Now Michigan State can add to its lead with 14-15 to play in regulation. To Davis with the setup again. Traveling. Iron Eagle, Jim Spinarco, Greg Kelso, the rest of our CBS crew with you. St. Louis bracket. This is Seattle, Washington, Key Arena. Number 10 seed, Nevada, taking on number 7 seed, Michigan State. 
Spartans have been able to keep the Wolfpack at arm's length to see if Nevada can make a move with their all everything player. Kirk Snyder, great luck inside. Fazekas with a two-handed slam. Kemp with a nice delivery there off the dribble. Marcellus Kemp back in his hometown of Seattle, Washington out of Garfield High School. And a pretty dish. Trying to get Davis involved again down low. Brown jump shot. And look at this. A couple of bounces. It almost went down. The rebound snatched by Pinkney. Here's Okasa. Big possession to get a good basketball sequence going right here. After the last one, it was a nice driving move. Let's see if they can get some touches and get a set in the half court. Gets the straight up man-to-man -man right now. Nevada leading the rebound category, 18-17. Okasin. Look at pitching work. The offensive glass just missed coming down with that one. And now Hill handles it for Michigan State. Nine point lead for the Spartans. Spin move by Hill. Hill Thomas sticks with him. Brown thought about it. Torbert reset with 14 to shoot for Hill. High screen by Davis. Hill works around it. Off the curl. The runner. Count it. And that's a high screen, but Hill didn't even wait for the screen to really be set. To be set. He just kind of took off in a flurry around the right side. A little brush screen, if you will, but not much damage, but he finished it nicely. Seven points, three rebounds for Chris Hill. And back to an 11-point lead. Fazekas can shoot it from there. Three-pointer doesn't go. And a push underneath. Pinkney was shot on the offensive glass. Well, with the conclusion of today's game, we will select the Chevrolet most valuable player of the game from each team. Chevrolet will make a contribution to each school's general scholarship fund of tradition for over 30 years. Paul Davis called on his third foul for Michigan State. 16 points, five fours for the sophomore from Rochester, Michigan. Third team foul against Michigan State. Snyder back in there for Nevada. Here's Kemp putting it on the floor and a jumper. Soft touch, doesn't go, and another push. And that might be Hill from behind. Michigan State having some trouble getting around between the players offensively and the basket to block them out. Second on Hill, the show on Sean Paul. And the fourth team foul against the Spartans. 12-07 left to play. Spartans go back to protect themselves in the zone right now with the foul trouble with Davis in particular. Okasin, count it for three. Puts his hands out to his side, saying to himself, finally, I get one of those to go down. He's been shooting it in rhythm, one for four right now. But I think he's another guy who felt that a couple of his long bombs should have gone in with the rhythm he had. 55-47, Nevada within eight. Anderson settling things down on the offensive end for Michigan State. Double high. Again, using both screens. Ager pops free for a J. Short. Knocked outside. Okerson's got it. Got, you got to lay it. Kemp finds the open man. Hill Thomas with the throw down. Pretty good decision by a couple of guys just then. Rebounding the basketball, the long shots. Sometimes they will kick out long. The guards cannot hurry down the floor until you have possession. Well done by the Wolfpack. Nevada trying to make a run in a six-point game and a foul call. As Ager caught it, they will charge Kent with the first one. His first. A little too energetic just then. 11.06 remaining on the clock. Nevada trying to rally in the second half. Rejoining you from Seattle, Michigan State 55, Nevada 49, with 11.06 to go in the second half. Paul Davis has been the go-to guy offensively for Michigan State with 16. Snyder and Pinckney, the high men for Nevada with 13 apiece. Keep in mind that Wolfpack making their run here in the second half, pushing and closing the gap a little bit with Snyder only with two in the second half. It's a six-point differential. Ager on the perimeter. Anderson feeds the post. Davis pump fake. Michigan State with a 55 to 49 lead over Nevada. 10:44 to go. Second half. 
10 to shoot for the Spartans. Andreas, the fifth year senior, knocks it down. They are getting a lot of mileage out of their big. Smart basketball. Michigan State continues to impress with their patience on the offensive end. Not really hurrying many things. Not always effective and efficient, but not hurrying, which is a big help in a tight basketball game. Largest lead of the night has been 16. Nevada has been able to cut into it, but Okerson is off the mark from the corner. That's the kind of gang rebounding you like to see for Michigan State. I'm sure Tom Izzo loves to see at least three guys going after each possession off the glass. A team that has had problems rebounding the basketball this season. Andreas looks inside. Shot clock at 15. Just a two-man game. Anderson takes the opening and hits the leaner. They shoot right over Okerson. That's the size differential right there coming into play, especially when you get backpedaling a little bit in the lane. 6'6 six, six and 6'1. Six Doesn't add up down there, that's for sure. Snyder, tough shot. Doesn't go along the baseline, and Davis clears it. The fadeaway turns that into a, from a 12-footer to a 15 or 16-footer. He has to start going towards the basket more frequently. And Snyder is 4 for 14 from the field. Davis. Almost got it to drop as Paul is fouled. Ager came over to help on the rebounding. Tom <laughs> Izzo over there. But now let's check in with Greg Kelser. Greg? Guys, a few moments ago, a few moments ago you, you had a basket by Jason Andrews. You know, he's the long holdover from Tom Izzo's 2000 championship team. Eight points in this game, making an offensive contribution. They look for him for his leadership in these situations. So Jason's dad... Dan was a three-year starter for Ohio State, so a lot of Big Ten flavor in that family. As we hit the nine-minute mark of this second half, Michigan State up by ten. And Snyder loses the ball. Good double-team action right there, and there's a travel at half court. Double dribble by Bo Gracchus as Tom Izzo has a little chat with his fiery walk-on, who's now on scholarship. You remember when Greg spoke to uh, Izzo at the half also, he said, hey, we're not doing a good job of finding Snyder. We're leaving him alone. I tell you, they haven't been leaving him alone too often. On the perimeter, nor when he goes through the middle of the floor trying to dribble. Good double team kick out just then. Tenth Spartan turnover as Kent is fouled out front. And a sixth team foul against Michigan State. Coming up tonight here on CBS, more first round action. Arizona against Seton Hall in an 8 9 matchup. DePaul Dayton, that's a much anticipated matchup as well. Air Force in North Carolina. And Valco against Gonzaga. Seton Hall and Arizona game should be a dandy. Tony Mark, Marcus Tony L for Seton Hall struggling with a little bit of a rip problem, so he's a final player if they're going to try to beat Arizona. Third foul on Torbert. Okasin on target for three. He is two for three of his last three attempts from long range, and he's got the body language like, if you're going to leave me alone, guys, I'm going to make you pay for it. Good rhythm, good follow through, and shipping away again at Michigan State. The senior from Kansas has developed into a good playmaker for this Nevada team. Torbert, the answer, no. And rebound is snatched by Paul. Okerson. Here's Vasekis now getting a touch. And Nick Vasekis on a fadeaway. And Trent Johnson told us he has very good hands and very good touch down low. I'm telling you, I, I've seen two of his shots. That's not supposed to go in when you shoot the ball like that, but he's doing it consistently. He's got the skills. And Nevada is within five. Vasekis has eight points in the second half. How about Timbo Gracchus from the corner? And how about the extra pass to bait the defenders around the perimeter? A long two-pointer. To this point, Michigan State has been able to answer. Focus in the same spot. He went down, no call. Missed it for three. Turn around, doesn't go. Jeff missed it. You know, that might stay here, this call. It will. Yeah, I know Paul was behind him, but Davis kind of rooted him out when he was in the air and pushed him back. That's number four on Davis. That's a big call right there, and I think it's the correct one. Anderson will check in, replacing Hill, and they do not have a lot up front, Michigan State. That's the one area of weakness you can look at in Tom Izzo's team. Not much depth in that front court. 
And Davis is forced to the bench. Foul trouble for Michigan State. Anderson and Torbert were three apiece. For a couple of reasons, that's a big call right there. Go against Michigan State, but primarily because he's so good at handling the basketball at the offensive end. Sean Paul hits the first. In a one-on-one -on -one situation, a 74% shooter, three-year starter who accepted a new role this season because of the emergence of the freshman Nick Fazekas. So Paul has come off the bench. And he knocks down a pair. Seven eleven left to play, second half. Michigan State with a 61 to 56 lead over Nevada. Much more to come from Seattle. Let's take a look at how we got to this point with the game summary. Michigan State leads at 61 to 56. They've shot it well throughout the evening. And both teams have shot it well at the one. The different second half, Nevada has made up some points in the paint. 14 of those 20 points of the paint since the halftime break. And one number that was not on the summary is one that's important. Michigan State is, has 17 fouls already. The Wolfpack only at three. So if you're the Wolfpack, you want to attack as much as you possibly can off the dribble and down low on the blocks with your passes. It's been 19 years since Nevada was in the NCAA tournament. Anderson, the leader, and a foul called. Okerson is called on the person. These are the confirmed tip times for the first round matchups later on this evening. Dayton, DePaul, Air Force, North Carolina, Arizona, Seton Hall, and Valparaiso, and Gonzaga. Right here at Key Arena. Anderson good on the first free throw. 80% shooter. Won a state championship as a high school football player in Minneapolis. A wide receiver. How about 6'6", six six, 220 going out and catching balls on pass routes. Well, you can throw a lot of bad passes that that guy will catch for you. Nick Fazekas, the freshman from Arvada, Colorado. Back into the game for Nevada. Anderson has scored 10 for Michigan State. It's 63-56, Spartans. Tampa guy who's trying to be active with the ball. Elkison. And a foul called. Ager had gotten beat on the play. And this is where that foul trouble comes into play. He'll go to the line as an 86% free throw shooter. Number eight on the team for Michigan State. Tom Zizzo recognizes that that's going to be a problem, especially if the hands are going to lead defensively. Get your feet moving and don't reach out. Todd Okerson, the transfer from Dodge City Community College. And good on the first attempt. Foul trouble, Davis with four. Okerson has three for Nevada. And right now, the big key for Michigan State is their go-to post player, Paul Davis, is on the bench during an important stretch here in the second half. Probably going to guess another minute and a half or so. If the score stays about the same, they're going to try to bury Davis on the bench until that point. About five minutes or so, we'll keep an eye on it. Okerson now with ten points for the Wolfpack. Anderson against Okerson has the height advantage. Different look down on the blocks without Davis on the floor. Anchor versus Kent, two athletic players. Ten to shoot. Torber gets into the offense. Gotta get into it a little quicker now. You're down to five and you're going opposite. Tight defense from Snyder. Five second call against Torber. Well, you know what? Snyder played pretty good defense just then. One of the things about him is that he brings so much more to the table than just scoring for this team. 11th Michigan State turnover. And really, Nevada has made this run without Snyder. We'll see if he can get involved. Loses the ball for a moment. It's a good decision, though, not to force a shot just then. Kent lost it and then called for the foul along the baseline. Nick Vazikas. Watch get charged with a person. Yeah, watch what Vazikas does. He doesn't do it intentionally, but he's falling backwards and his hand comes out. It's a good call from the officials. It was contact and a little bit of a drag towards the out of bounds line. Third foul on the freshman. Kemp will now sit for Nevada. And Gary Hill Thomas, the senior, checks back in. Torbert out high. Andre's tight. Anderson blows the layup. And 
physique is there defensively. Good Nevada tip. saves it. Good tip. They're trying to take advantage of the size. Oh, Snyder. Extra feed. Pitney. Offensive foul. As Pitney goes down in the heat. Now, unfortunately for Pinkney, he was given that basketball in a tough spot. They get the clean save down here. You'll see Kazik is going after the basketball. He looks down first to clear his feet to keep him off the line. And then through the middle of the floor, good defensive job. That's a great call from the officials. But I'm not so sure you want to give Pinkney the ball there. you got to look up ahead and make sure he guys it down the floor and not in his way. It was Matt Shrennan who took the contact in the lane for Michigan State. And right now, the Spartans holding on to that five-point lead as we approach five minutes to play. Anderson uses the screen. Andreas, rebounded by Fizikas. Nice work. Just a simple concept. Step towards the ball. Block out and go get it. Okinson, penetration, forced out. Hill Thomas, trying to dump it down low. Pickney couldn't grab it. Michigan State's got it. Good smart play by Torbert just then. Ager had a notion, and now the Spartans slow it down. Half of their bench got up on that set just to put their hands up to say, hey, slow it down, guys. Let's get control. A timeout with 4.46 remaining. Five-point game here in Seattle. Michigan State 63, Nevada 58 as we check out the CBS Sports Line stat of the game. Free throw shooting for both teams has been impressive. Nevada 16 of 19, Michigan State 15 of 17. Get complete tournament coverage at CBSSportsLine.com. Down to 4.42 remaining. The seventh seed, Michigan State with the lead. Nevada has threatened but has yet to really put the pressure on Michigan State. They're looking to get Anderson and Okerson down low. Shot clock down to five and a foul called out front. And Gary Hill Thomas can't believe it. As we go to the bus. Number two on him as he fought through the screen of Trannett. And now Matt Trannett out of Flint, Michigan. Wide receiver on the Spartans football team is at the line. You have to try to go around the screen, by the way. You just can't go through it. One and one. No good. Fazekas the board. Down by five. Here come the Wolfpack. Okasin. Zigzagging. And he's going to the line. Ager down low with the contact. Take another look at tonight's one. Dayton and DePaul is coming up. Air Force, North Carolina. Arizona, Seton Hall, and Valpo Gonzaga. All still to come here on CBS. Tar Heels, one of those teams that have a whole bunch of talent. Pretty good year in the ACC, and a team that I don't think many really want to draw in the NCAA tournament, especially early on. Todd Okerson has picked up his game in the second half, and here comes Paul Davis, forced to sit with those four fouls for an extended period. And now Davis returns at the 4-18 mark. Okerson can cut it to three. He does. Now let's see if they get Davis involved down low and if he makes good decisions. The guy who's been sitting on the bench for three or four minutes of game action usually makes nice decisions. 63 to 60. Michigan State. They're trying to get Okerson to play some defense down on the blocks. Davis. Now he's got to be so careful on those follow-up attempts. Just that a little wild action. You got to pull back. Down by three. Opison looks for an opening. Out of the corner. This is where decisions make. Who's going to make the good decisions? Pass the ball the extra time. Plenty of time on the clock. Just relax and play. Snyder moving without the ball. Snyder. That's why he's a big timer right there. He was not in rhythm. He understood what he had to do. He's a scorer. He's got the scorer's mentality. He's going to be tracking that ball now in this last three minutes and change. Nevada down by one. Okerson comes up with the steal. And the timeout. Great ball process. Great defense. Terrific mental edge down the stretch. Nevada will have a chance to take the lead when we come back to Seattle. A one-point game. Second half here at Key Arena. Look at the game reset. Team fouls beginning to pile up. 
And possession arrow favors Nevada. It has not been a big night for the WAC player of the year, Kirk Snyder. Yet, the Wolfpack have a chance to grab the lead. Yeah, watch Mazikas down low. I try to get him to touch the ball against Davis with the uh, four fouls down low. Last lead was 13-12 to 12 in the first half. Snyder will take the three. Oh, a little bit of money. Cool. Snyder is on target. And Nevada leads by two. Timeout, Sparkles. If he doesn't exude confidence in his body right now, nobody does. A big triple for the junior. Since Paul Davis got his fourth foul for Michigan State, Nevada has gone on a 12-1 run. And they lead by two. 2.45 left to play. First round action from the St. Louis bracket. The winner here will take on the winner of the Gonzaga Valpo game. That might be Davis moving down lower now. It is. Yep. Moving straight on the left baseline. Number five for Paul Davis. First team all Big Ten, and he is done for the night with 16 points and six rebounds. Oh, what a turnaround in this second half. The foul trouble. They could not stop Davis during a long stretch here today. And now he will be a non-factor the rest of the way. Nevada leads it by two with the ball. 2.40 to go. Trent Johnson's team has rallied here on the second half. Well, you'll notice him on the baseline right here. Let's see what he does. Yeah, it's a good call. He moves right into him. You can't move. You have to hold your ground. Good call for the officials. We'll come back for the final 2.40 in a tight one. Game reset, Michigan State now trails Nevada. 65 to 63, 240 left. See the team fouls. Each team has timeouts to work with. Nevada has the possession arrow in their favor as Tom Izzo talks with his young star, Paul Davis, who will have to sit and watch from the sideline for the final two minutes and change. Nine nothing run for the Wolfpack. Okerson, his gritty play down the stretch has been a key. And so is Snyder looking for shots. Watch for physique is down low also. There's a moving screen out front too, I believe. It's Pinkney. What call goes, for the offensive. What goes, goes around, comes around. Both calls are good calls. Guys are moving. You see, a lot of times people say, well, let them play. But my feeling on it, my opinion on it is let them play. Let them play aggressively, but stay within the rules. If you're going to break the rules, you make the, make the calls down the stretch. Hill gives it up for Torbert. Makes his move. Whoa. Ager against Okerson. We come up on two minutes to play. Nevada leads by two, the number 10 seed. Eager has that size advantage too. Torbert, that's a carry. Good call from the officials. They're doing a good job here. Ball, your hand goes underneath the basketball and they don't call that enough in my opinion. And you give yourself an advantage at the offensive end, it has to be called. Crucial turnover for the Spartans, number 14 on the night. Under two minutes left. Nevada leads by two. Snyder now coming off the screen. Snyder willing to shoot it from long distance. Shot clock at 15. Fazek has come back. Back into the hands of Snyder. 10 to shoot. The WAC player of the year working on Ager. Pass deflected. Hill Thomas couldn't grab it. Last touch by Torbert with two seconds remaining on the shot clock. 124 on the game clock. Now you have time for one quick dribble. Catch one quick dribble in a shot. Right second, wipe up some perspiration. Over, right by the officials. And there's a guy who's just, you know, heart is broken right now with one moving fall in the violation. Love to be out on the floor, Davis. Snyder will be the trigger man with two to shoot. Gets it back. Up three. 
just off the mark. And Michigan State controls the loose ball. 1-15 left on the clock. Hill, circling, runner, no, Tiffin, Ager, over the back call. Fazekas was fouled and he'll shoot two. Fourth foul on Maurice Ager and the 10th team foul against the Spartans. Well, pretty good drive to the hole right now. Soft shot, watch it sit up on the rim. Right, there's one where it's up for grabs right there. No, no, you can see a whole lot of bumping from that angle. Trent Johnson, first appearance as a head coach in the NCAA tournament. His freshman, Nick Fazekas, who wasn't even born the last time Nevada was in the tournament, hits on the first free throw. 77% on the year, so a good number for a guy that tall. And I'll tell you one thing, he's got great hands also. Watch the follow through. 1985, last appearance for Nevada as Fazekas calmly hits a pair. And the Wolfpack lead by four. They have to continue to think going towards the basket. Ager winds it up. Can't hit the three. And Anderson's got it for the Spartans. Under a minute left. Torbert will fire. Short. And rebounded by Pinckney. See if he holds the ball now. He's another good free throw shooter. They're looking for a foul. Tom Izzo wants a foul. And that's the guy they want with the basketball. 86%. Well, you got a well-played four or five minutes by the Wolfpack down the stretch. Fourth foul against Torbert. And right now, the Nevada players beginning to taste it. It is sinking in that they are 43.9 seconds away from moving on to the second round. Okasin, six of six today. Nails the first and extends the lead to five. Michigan State, a seven seed a year ago, surprised many observers by going to the regional final. And right now, they are on the ropes against Nevada. Timeout, Tom Izzo. Six-point lead for the Wolfpack. 41.1 remaining in Seattle. Five minutes and 56 seconds. Bill Thomas, well defended, forcing it deep. Hill, long three, it's an air ball. 33.1 left on the clock. The winner here will take on the survivor of the Gonzaga Valparaiso matchup, which is coming up here at Key Arena. A lot of people looked ahead and thought, wow, that Gonzaga Michigan State matchup sure did. sounds like a good one on paper. Nevada had other ideas as Bogracus checks in for Michigan State. Long pass, why? Risky pass, but Snyder's got it. And he's fouled. Yep. Words exchanged between Snyder and Bogracus. Now, Bogracus did the right thing. He had to track him down. Snyder just walked away from him. And Kirk Snyder is headed to the free throw line. Michigan State, a long offensive drop in this second half. And Nevada has taken advantage with Snyder, Okasin, Fazekas. Snyder good on the first free throw. 19 points. Tonight's lineup includes Air Force against North Carolina, Arizona versus Seton Hall, and Gonzaga taking on Valparaiso. Just over 30 seconds remaining. Snyder, short on the second attempt. How many choices except to go long? And it's Ager. They cannot get one to go down. Ager, another attempt for three, and that one drops. Timeout, 19.6 left. Nevada's lead is four. We'll come back with a finish in a moment. 19.6 remaining, Nevada 70, Michigan State 66. 
This one just slipped away from the Spartans over the final seven minutes and change. In fact, that three from Ager was their first basket in seven minutes and ten seconds of game action. And now they have to go for a quick steal and a quicker foul if they don't get it. There you go. It'll take a whole lot of time off the clock. Now Hill Thomas shoots it at 69% from the line. And he will shoot a pair right now. Chevrolet most valuable players of the game, Todd Okerson, give him credit, handling the Michigan State defense and running the offense for Nevada down the stretch. 14 points, Paul Davis, 16 points, and did they ever miss him after fouling out as Hill Thomas sits on the first. Nevada, 12 of 13 from the line in the second half. And Okerson, I thought also, I was two for seven from the three-point strike, but those two were huge. Hill Thomas uh, knocks down a pair. You said it. Make your free throws down the stretch. You're going to win a lot of basketball games. Anderson hands to Ager. Final 12 seconds. Ager a three. Air ball. 10.7 remaining. Fazekas back in. Disappointed Tom Izzo and company, but down at the other end, they could be proud of the last five minutes of this basketball game. The Wolfpack really executed tremendously down the stretch. After a 19-year absence from the NCAA tournament, Nevada has returned with a bang. They beat Michigan State. to get the victory over the Spartans. Nevada advances to the second round here in Seattle. They will meet the winner of the Gonzaga-Valparaiso game, which will wrap up the action here at Key Arena. Trent Johnson in his fifth year as the head coach at Nevada, a major rebuilding project. He has gotten a W. Kirk Snyder, Todd Okerson, and the Wolfpack rally to beat the Spartans of Michigan State. So for Jim Spinarco and Greg Kelser, this is Ian Eagle. So long for the Seattle. Nevada wins it. 72 to 66. As we send to the New York and Greg Kelser. All right, thanks very much. So Michigan State falls to the Nevada Wolfpack 72-66. The Wolfpack registering its first ever NCAA tournament victory.